Hello, you sexy whiskers, and welcome back. Uh, oh, hang on a minute, I just got an email. So I've received an email from YouTube. Yes, the real YouTube. Nothing fishy going on here. We've received spam complaints about the content of your YouTube channel. Our team will review your channel and send you an email about the transaction. Please complete the survey below and reply to this email. If you do not reply to this email, your channel will turn off. That's terrifying. No more Barbara, no, no more biscuits, no more pretzels, no more Tom Selleck. Screw you, Tom Selleck. God damn it. And of course, to clarify that this is definitely YouTube, they have left a survey at the bottom of the page and it asks for my URL, which um, they should know, see seeing as they emailed me on my YouTube's email address. R right. A copyright, yes or no. <laughs> so just put no. Why would you put yes? And they're asking for my password. Which, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's something YouTube does. Well, I'm sorry to inform you, YT Apoyo at YT Controller dash five at mail dot ru. That seems legit that I'm not falling for your crap. The reason I bring this up now is because I've seen quite a few YouTubers talk about this. This seems to be a thing that's going around all over the goddamn place. And some people are actually believing it. So if you see an email like this, do not put your password in. Feel free to put in some silly responses to their questions because honestly I'm kind of tempted to, but YouTube will never ever ask for your password. This has been a sexy biscuit tip of the day. R right back to my video. Hello you sexy biscuits and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yes, I have picked up the Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. Now this is the collector's edition that comes with the Teresa statue and a load of other stuff. And right now you can get this for $49.99 on Amazon. So I used your amazing Patreon money and picked this up on the Xbox One. Now you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, don't you have a PC? Well yes I do, but I want some form of backup just in case my PC copy breaks. Now you're probably asking, hang on a minute, how would that happen? And all I have to say is, too many mods, so many mods. So turning the box around, we have the Band of Biscuits DLC. I'm so happy with this, this looks awesome. And on the other side we have Teresa in the Woman's Lot DLC. And um, on the bottom, we have nothing. There's, there's nothing there. And on top, we have the KCD logo. So on the back, we do have information of what's included inside, including a figurine of Teresa, which is 15 centimeters tall, which is cool. A pin, which is gonna go immediately on my bag. We have a soundtrack, which I already own, I think. Um, we also have the game itself, which comes with all of the DLC. Now you guys can see here we've got uh, some pictures, now oddly enough. Some of you may recognize that picture because I use it an awful lot in my thumbnails. <laughs> so yes, we also have all of the DLC here listed. We of course have the Treasures of the Past DLC from the Ashes, the best one personally. We also have the Amorous Adventures of the Bulls or Hands. And we also have the Band of Biscuits DLC and a Woman's Lot. We appear to have a visitor. I, I think he likes the box it came in, which is right there. Bobo, did you like it? Is, is it nice? Are you just going to sleep in there for the rest of the day, are you? I don't know what your obsession is with boxes, but there you go. All cats like boxes for some reason. Has anyone worked out why? Now you're just licking yourself in the shot. That That's fantastic, Bo. Thank you so much. Right, will you just hang out there and we'll try and continue this video? This is kind of one of the main reasons I wanted to get this because the box looks incredible. <laughs> okay, Bo, do you want to help open it, buddy? Do you want to just, just grab that bit there and then pull? Wow, you're so helpful. Here you go, Bobo. There you go. Good boy. You just uh, lay there with that, all right? He <laughs> looks bloody terrified. <laughs> all right, I'll take it off. There you go. As I said earlier, the box looks absolutely incredible. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. Okay, moment of truth. We're going to open this thing up and see what's inside. Okay, let's turn it around. This is going to be an experience for all of us, I think. Oh! Okay, well I definitely see what's taking up the most space in here, and that is definitely the Teresa statue. So, we're going to take this out first, 
and put it over on the side because I want to look at that afterwards. So inside the box, uh, there's not really much left to be honest. We have, of course, the game itself on the Xbox One. This, of course, is the Royal Edition of the game. Now this comes with every single piece of DLC. On the back here, we do have a review from PC Gamer, which gave it 84%, and they say, Kingdom Come is a seriously satisfying role-playing experience set in a rich, reactive world. Also, something that's not on here is a review from Sexy Biscuit saying, where are the goddamn pretzels, Barbara? God damn it! Screw you, Tom Selleck! Maybe one day. That's when the Ultimate Ultimate Edition comes out. Okay, get the other things out of the box. We have the Deliverance Making of Kingdom Come DVD. So inside here we do have Thicked Book, which is the combat documentary of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And on the side here it does say that it has the making of, and also, as I just said, the Thicked Book documentary. Now this is awesome. If you've never seen these, this is well worth watching because it goes into quite a lot of detail and shows a lot of the kind of locations where they were working on the game and stuff and it's really fascinating to see. Okay, this is pretty awesome. It comes with the full-size map. Now, I don't own the full-size map. I currently only have this one which has the map on the back side of Henry, but <laughs> not on his butt. So having a full-size map here is pretty freaking awesome. And as you guys can see here, oh shit, now this is obviously the same one that they use in-game. Oh, okay, so this audio CD, I thought this was the soundtrack of the game. No, this is the Atmosphere soundtrack. And this is what kind of plays in the background when you're riding your horse and stuff. So it includes Landscape 1, 2, and 3, Tauberg. Oh my god, this is amazing. Does it like literally have like the sound of NPCs and stuff talking? That would make for some really cool relaxation kind of music to listen to in the background when doing work or something. So that is absolutely fascinating. I'm so glad that I actually don't own this one. So that is awesome. Personally, I'm looking forward to Dice Game. I I'm the best at dice. By the way, Sir Toby, if you're watching this right now, I still challenge you to Farkle when we finally meet. I will kick your butt. And the last thing in the box is this. Now, this is the KCD badge. Wow, that is actually pretty bloody solid. That is, yeah, that's full metal, definitely. Yeah, that's that's not going to bend anytime soon. Holy crap, okay. That is awesome. So I'm going to be putting that on my bag right next to my Honeydew Yogscast badge because I'm starting to collect badges, so that is absolutely bloody amazing. I think one of the main reasons people wanted this was because it came with this. Now this is the Teresa 15 centimeter statue and uh, we're going to open this up and see what the quality's like. On the back you of course can see Teresa there with Tinker and Tinker looks bloody awesome. Um, I'm really, really excited about opening this up. Okay, we're gonna try and do this with one hand. We're gonna see if we can do it. Oh, okay, that's not actually too difficult. So I'm just gonna reach in here and then shake, shake. Ah! Hey, Bo, can, can you help, please? Can you can you pull this end and I'll pull this end and we'll work together as a team, buddy. Now you've gotta put your paw, put your paw like, like this, like, like that and then put it on there. No, no. Wow, goddamn douche canoe. Okay, fine, I'll do it myself. We have Teresa. Oh my god, it actually has Tinker. I didn't realize Tinker was in this statue. Okay, so I wouldn't say this is metal. This definitely isn't metal. It obviously looks like metal. Um, but I would say that this is wood, possibly? Very weird. Like, the material feels kind of light. It's not something that's going to break, definitely. But I really like this. That is absolutely brilliant. Okay, I'm going to try and zoom in on Teresa's face. There you go. All right, I'm Teresa. I love Henry. I do. I'm going to get married. I am. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> Oh, Henry, do me in the barn, Henry. Oh. Yeah, most people have turned off. Um, <laughs> I was surprised if Henry wasn't turned off. Okay, right. Uh, so there is Teresa. We're just going to leave her there. She looks fantastic. With, with Tinker the dog. Um, and yeah, that is everything you get inside this collection. So the last thing I want to do is open this up to see where the DLC is. I'm not sure if it's going to be a separate code or if it's going to be on the disc. Now, I'm pretty sure at one point they mentioned that the Woman's Lot DLC wouldn't be on the disc, mainly because this wasn't created in time. Um, and I think it comes on a separate code. So if I was to open this up a second, we can actually find out for ourselves. I love these. These feels really good to just break with your finger. Ah, yeah, there you go. Okay, and 
boom. So, so we have nothing in here. That's surprising. Is there anything on the back of the disc? No, 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 this is, this is it. This is the Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. So I'm guessing the woman's lot does come on here. I'm gonna say it right now, I hate Xbox One disc cases. Not only did they swap the sides of the disc, which is the most annoying thing in the world. Yes, I suppose you could just turn it round, but then I think you miss out on that at the top, you see? If, if it would be there and it wouldn't really make much sense. Um, I just, I just don't like these cases. Also, where's the manual? It hasn't been that long, has it? Since manuals existed. I know that they turned into pieces of toilet paper a couple of years ago, but now they have completely bloody disappeared. Like, what? I'm so disappointed. I would love an old school manual for Kingdom Come Deliverance. I think it would really benefit from one and I think it would be a really cool collector's item if they did that. And there is a look at the disc itself. There you go. It's uh, rated 18, so uh, stop watching if you're not. So for 50 quid, this is a bloody good deal. Not only are you getting the really cool Teresa statue, but you're also getting a full-size map, the game itself, a great quality pin, which is really nice and quite heavy, actually. You're also getting the Atmospheres soundtrack, which I don't think is available anywhere else. I haven't seen this on Steam. It might be on Steam now. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend listening to this. I'm going to probably listen to this while editing today's video. Um, also, of course, you're getting your hands on the uh, Deliverance Making Of um, collection. And that is well worth watching. For 50 quid on Amazon, this is well worth it. Now, Game are selling this, I think, for 69 99 So it's well worth going on Amazon and getting one day delivery on this and just going for it. Because honestly... I really like it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you, Bobo, for joining in. Oh, oh that, that look. That look of hatred then. Oh, I'm sorry, Bo. I made you do stuff. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, comment down below. Are you going to be picking up the Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition? And if so, what are you most excited about getting? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, Bo. No, still, still angry with me? Okay, fine.